Hey folks, real quick before we start the video, this is the reference manual for the cat controls in case you need any additional information, but uh, the, the following video is actually going to go in and show you how to do some stuff on the uh, Ham Radio uh, Deluxe, so thanks again. Good afternoon friends, it's Steve Cat5JUF. Hope everyone's having a good Saturday so far. So I got another uh, pretty cool surprise for you. I want to uh, thank one of my friends over in Florida. His name is, uh, let's see, what's his name here? I got it written on my credits down here. Um, Rich uh, KN4YLL. So Rich uh, sent me an email or a message a while back talking about setting up uh, memory locations on HRD. Now HRD by default, does not have memory locations, uh, at least it doesn't on the Yesu. Uh, so thanks to Rich and an article from I think HRD or Hamnet or something, he had pulled out some information, uh, picked up, a, we found out a way to, Rich actually discovered a way to do it and I'm going to document it today because I think it'd be pretty cool if you guys want to use your uh, uh, FT991A memory channels if you want to be able to access them through the, uh, the HRD screen. So. It's actually a very simple process, and what it utilizes is uh, what's called a uh, Mac uh, or CAT control. So I'm going to show you, this is the manual that you might want to refer to uh, for CAT information, uh, but the very specific information we're looking for is on page 12, and I'm going to show you where it's at here. Right here, uh, memory channel, right here, MT. So essentially, let's see, where did we find that at? Um, here we go, right here, I'm sorry. So what we're looking at right here, this little square, essentially what it's telling us is uh, there's 100 and 0 to 199 regular memory channels. So the cat command is actually very simple. And I'll go through and I'll show you. But this is a reference material here. So what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and enter a cat, a cat command. And once you see the process here, I think it'll flow, make sense to you. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to the macros tab. And what we'll do next is, let's see here. What we'll do next is we'll go to cat command manager. Then what we're going to do is we're going to collect, uh, select new. Now in this dialog box here is asking us for some information. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to know the memory location that we want to access on the FT991A. Now in this example here, I'm going to program in memory location number 7. And that's the local KI5ZS repeater. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to title the repeater or the frequency. I'm going to call this uh, 145.490. You can actually put your repeater name in here if you wanted to. But this is where it gets very, very technical you've got to be very careful what you put in here so the command for memory location 7 the cat command for memory location 7 is going to be Mike Charlie 007 that's the command so that piece of information the software actually reads the title field and the description field are just asset information that you can put anything you want in there. Now what I'm going to do here on this one, I'm going to call this one the KI5ZS. Uh, let's see what I'm going to, what should I put there? Yeah, KI5ZS uh, repeater. So the next thing we'll do is after we enter in the information is we're going to click OK. Then we're going to click OK again. Now you see it right here. I already have memory locations for uh, MC001, MC002, 05, which is our simplex frequency, and this one here. Let me go back and edit this for a moment. Let's put, uh, uh, let's see here. You know what? Let's just leave that alone for now. So we're essentially done with the, uh, the command manager right now, the cat command manager. So now we have this macro or this cat command loaded into HRD. Now this is available to be used in the display menu. So essentially it's in the database as they say. So I'm going to click OK. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Customize menu. Now, I've already added three of them already. You can see these right here. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put this one here right here. So the way you do that is I'm picking an empty button and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to select it. You'll see a little box goes around it. Once the box is selected, then what we're going to do is this little field becomes visible down here. Let me deselect it and demonstrate that. Okay, let me pick a, let's see. Let's clear it. Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let me, let me select it again. You see the little box around it. Now I'm going to actually select the cat menus that are that are currently loaded. So I'm going to click select here. And again, there's a little box around it telling me this is the box that's going to pick up the new frequency. I'm going to do select. Now we're going to use the drop down box. There's the latest one we just added. I'm going to click OK. And actually, uh, yeah, that's what we're, we're going to leave it like that. When I click here, OK. Now you notice it's flashing. The flashing says that you just made a change to it, but it hasn't been saved yet. So now what we have to do is we have to click Apply. And now we're done. There it is right there. Let me uh, see if we can change frequencies. And we're on it. There's simplex. There's my 144 I put in. There's the, there's the club repeater. So these are working. We have memory locations here. Let me do a quick check real quick. KF5JUF testing. Okay, that looks good. Love it. All right. Uh, let's do another one real quick. It won't take long. The next, the next frequency I want to use is I want to use uh, our simplex C4FM frequency. So let's do that real quick. And that's going to be frequency location 8. So we're going to do macro, cat command manager. Now let me make sure I got my little procedure here. We're going to do new. Now this one here is going to be... Uh, Texas Nexus, which is 441, I'm just going to name it, 441050. Now this cat command, he's at, this one's in memory location 8, so I have to put Mike Charlie 00, whoops, 008. And this one here, I'm going to call this one here Texas Nexus. This is how I get to Texas Nexus. Whoops, that's somebody there already on the on the C4FM channel. I'll let them go. Okay, then what we'll do, we'll get back on course here. We'll hit OK. All right, now we have another macro or another cat command loaded. So let's go back and click OK. And now we're going to go... Okay, we'll turn that down real quick there. I'm on Texas Nexus. So now we'll go to Customize. All right, now I'm going to click one of these open bars again. I'm going to click select. I'm going to click here. All right, there's my new repeater. Now, what's the beauty about this is these cat commands, they're going straight to your memory, so you don't have to deal with modes or PL codes anymore. You're, you're actually uh, going right to the memory location. So let me click OK. All right, see we're flashing here. Looks good. Let's click Apply. All right, that looks good. And then we'll click OK. And there we have it right there. Let's see if we can call this guy real quick. I want to make sure. Looks like they're talking right now, so we'll, we, won't, we won't key up on them real quick, but I think it'll work. Let's see if we can. OK. All right, so that's good. Cat5JUF testing. Yeah, it works perfect. 
All right, so very good, very good. So we are good. Now we've done actually two macros. So now what I've done is I've taken my memory locations from my radio and I've put them right here. So if I want to talk on the club repeater or if I want to talk on my, uh, this is the simplex channel I like to use because it's off the main channel and, you know, usually people are talking on 5.2. So this kind of keeps the conversation from interfering. Uh, this is the KI5ZS repeater. It uh, looks good. looks real good. You could put the repeater names here. I like the frequencies because when I'm talking to somebody, I might I may not remember the frequency, but I'll say go 146.440. So anyway, that's it for this video. Um, uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this up and enjoy the video. And again, this is uh, Steve Cow 5 jof and uh, have a good day. I'm sure I'm enjoying this uh, HRD uh, software. It really is good stuff. All right, 73 and thanks again.